Hello, Klaus here, and welcome back to yet a, another video here at the channel. I do hope you are having a lovely day and you are enjoying the lovely summer outside. Also, if you are new to this channel and are into learning DaVinci Resolve filmmaking tips and tricks and things of that nature, I do recommend you to subscribe for the channel. In this video, I'll show you how to create some creepy fog using fast noise inside of DaVinci Resolve's Fusion. And it is very easy to do and you can make a pretty nice effect doing that. So without further ado, let's get right to it. Okay, so let's get right to it with this little tutorial here. So let's head into Fusion and um, I'm just going to make a new Fusion composition. And um, you can do that by right clicking and then choosing that and then double tapping and then um, it will open that up. And in here I uh, just have my media out and I'm just going to add in a background. Then I'm going to drag in a fast noise. I'm going to take the output of that. You can actually see the fast noise right here. Uh, and we're going to manipulate that in a sec. But I'm going to take the output of that and drag that into the output of the background and it will make a merge note so I don't have to add that every time. So first up in the fast noise I'm going to you know, I can move it around if I want to but um, for now I'll um, scale that up a bit something like that I think and then I'm going to dial up the details as well and uh, maybe I'll play around with the contrast, something like that. Okay, then I'll go to the second tab where I have the colors. And then I can, you know, change the colors around to make it look more like the color I want. So let's see what we want to do with it. Not necessarily this, but um, something like that. It should be a little bit mysterious, I think. So I'll just go back to the first tab in the inspector here. And then I'm going to bump up the seed rate. And that's just going to make more fog or more smoke. And that's actually what we want. So. Maybe a little less. I want it to be this uh, drifty, dangerous fog. Also, we can put in some, some small animation if we want to. So I'll just... I am at the beginning of my clip here. So and I'll just put in a keyframe. Then I'll just go to the end. And then I'm just going to just simply drag the center towards the side like so and now we have this little bit of an animation here okay okay let's uh, just Something like that. Okay. So now we have that animated. And um, basically, we have now some some fog. But I want to add in a an, some video here. And I'm just going to disconnect my background. And I'm going to add in the video instead. And now, of course, this looks just like blown out. And not very nice at all. You can see the fog is moving, but it's moving all over the screen and doesn't look like what I wanted. So I'm going to take a rectangle tool. I'm going to add that into the fast noise. And then I can just go to the width and I can just make it so it will fit my screen. Like so. Make it a little smaller. 
and um, something like that. And then I can just etch, or I can do some soft etch here and just um, soften the edges. Now we have this little more mysterious look. So, but but it looks a little wrong with the rectangle. So in the rectangle, uh, I'm going to take the width and I'm just going to make it larger than the frame. And I'm just going to make it twice as wide. So it will not have this with the feathering where you can actually see the borders. And then let's, uh, then we can start playing around with the contrast and the details to make our shot look a little more creepy. Like, that maybe and again I'm also going to change up the color just a bit so now we have something like this instead so that is basically how you would make that kind of thing. And then again, you can go into the merge and you can blend in the two clips. So it will be a little more realistic. And here we have the shot. So anyway, I do hope you found this video useful. If you did, please hit that subscribe button, give the video a like, share it with your friends if you think it will help them out. And if you want to be notified every time there's a new video on this channel, please hit that bell icon down in the corner. Until next time, keep filming, keep learning and keep sharing.